Now we come right back out, look at the numbers on the screen. At 7342, 2062, 1475, 24.6 pounds of boost. So that thing picked up three pounds of boost. Now what we'll do is we'll go over and we'll look at all the numbers here. Uh, 7,000, 1969, 1469, 22 pounds of boost, 12-3 air fuel ratio. And of course, it, we've leaned up our air fuel ratios a little bit for the sole reason of that it's moving more air. Um, not a lot, but it did move up some. We go all the way down here, and it's still in the 11.6s. So it picked up maybe, uh, I'll look, we'll go back and look at it, maybe, maybe half an air fuel ratio point. Uh, all the way down at 5,000 or 1174 horsepower, 1233 foot pounds of torque, 5,500 were 1389, 6,000, 1638, 6,500, 1841, and 7,000, 1969, 2062 at the exact same number we were before, and up to 7,500, 2072. That's a uh, pull when we blew the tube off. Here is our pull with the probe loop bell. See it kind of goes up into here at 2062. And here is our pull right here without the balloon. That, that's just a little bad number to disregard that, but you see quite a bit of difference there. So our net total gain is we made a peak horsepower of 1921 at 7383 and now we are at 2062. What is that? It's 140 horsepower. 140 horsepower. So that's about 140 horsepower. Don't have my little calculator on me here. Hold on. Yeah, 21 to 62 141 horsepower gain. And that's without tuning. Now we could have done a little more tuning on it before, but we can also do more tuning on this one. So I'm Steve Morris at Steve Morris Engines. If you have any questions at all about these uh, blower modifications that we're doing, please call. It does work very well, and I mean very, very well. The percentage is actually higher on smaller blowers on larger motors. So all of you guys uh, with limited blowers, we definitely have something for you. We have combinations with how you need to plumb this into frontal air, how these all need to work. But uh, give us a call at 231-747-7520.